Right folks, how are we all? As you have seen from the thumbnail and the thumb title of this video, it's the new signature fries. Um, Scott's done them on Scott and Wonders World. Thought I'd jump on that bandwagon, jump on it. Right, so what's it say? Finally, it looks like they've put some chips over the F and it says fucking good. Uh, new signature fries available now and forever. Always and forever. Finally, our fries are flavoured with a delicious, savoury, original st recipe style seasoning. Well, KFC, I hope it's better than your attempt of bloody rum with dead man's fingers, because that was shambolic. Um, what am I going to have? So, I'm going to have the signature fries. And I think I will have... Oh, shall I just have some sweet chilli cans as BBQ dips? Because I've got a dinner tonight. I cooked chicken stew uh, the other night, and we're going to have the rest of it. In, I might have a wrap, to be fair. Uh, and we're going to have it in a pie. If you've got anything left over, always stick it in a pie. Sticking it in a pie is very nice. And you get an extra meal out of it. So if you've got anything, if you've got leftover fish and chips, just stick it in a pie. You can have a fish and chip with mushy pea pie. It's fabulous. Um, so I don't know where to have a wrap. Sweet chili wrap. Or should I just go for the sweet chili Kansas BBQ dipped bites? Mm. I could have a burger though, could I? A zinger stack. Oh, uh, I don't know. Should I just have a wrap meal? Sweet chili wrap meal. Because I'm hungry. I've sand I've been sanding down some wooden windows today because we're having some windows fitting. And they've all got to be sanded down, undercoated and all that. Oh. Proceed to drive through window, please. Cannot take order through headsets. That's a bit of a bummer. Uh So I think I might have Don't know what I want Shall I have a zinger stack? A meal Diet Coke You tell me what to have folks and I'll buy it Yeah you tell me and I'll get it Right, I don't know. I bet Dylan Mulvaney don't get this problem when he's buying his KF KFC. Hey. Right, folks, I've got the... Uh, I've got my food. i just run over the curb. I don't know why that's going off. Right, which way are you going? Go on then. You go that way. You go over there. Oh, you're going in there. For fuck's sake. Oh. Da, 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 da. Got pine trees, not pine trees, um, palm trees. Can you see the palm tree? There's a palm tree there. Right, bloke over there, he's pumping his tyre. Right. Park up here. I'm going to get my other camera out. Behind the scenes, this is, isn't it? How cool's that? 
behind the scenes. So, put my thing in my hole. Put that like that. Put that camera on. You can see me now. Can you see me? My fucking whatever. There you go. Oh, I do like these cushions. Do like them. Right, I'm going to turn you off over there, and you're going to watch me on here. All right. Right, I'm going to turn you off over there, and you're going to watch me on here. All right. <sighs> so. Tell you what though, the amount of people that use bloody all well, them deliveroo and stuff, you're all they're all fucking mad, right? So I've had the signature fries. Well, here they are. Put my glasses on so I can see you. There he is, look. Oh it ain't where's the colonel gone? It's just the colonel's bow tie. So there you go. So, what a swig of this. Very busy in Loughborough today. Very busy. What was that? Let's just say. Diverted traffic. Energy. Climate. Diverted trap. We've got a bloody climate thing in Loughborough. Why? Fuck it. I bet Jane Hunter will be there, our local MP, with a big fucking organ pipe teeth standing there grinning a fucking head off. She can fuck off and all. Oh, she's fucking useless. Then we've got this Sanjeev, Sanjeev, uh, seed, seed, I can't remember his name, the Labour bloke. He never replies to your fucking messages either. They're all fucking dickhead politicians. None of them. None of them ever reply to you. I'm dying to see one of them in the street one day and say, I'm going to ask them a serious question like something like, um, what do you think of drag queens going to schools or something like that, reading storybooks? Or, you know, um, what do you think of kids having hormone blockers and stuff? A proper fucking question. <sighs> fucking dickheads. Anyway, shut up, David. Eat your chips. Let's tuck in. Wow. They're really good. Now, I've not watched um, Scott on Scott and Wonders World, his review. Because I didn't want him to influence me. Because some people say he influences me. <laughs> Fuck him now. You're all fucking mad. What well, is? I'm not. Basically, what they've done is they've bought some kind of. Have a look. Here it is. The fries are the same as before, except they are now coated in a herb and spice seasoning based on KFC's iconic chicken flavour. A regular portion costs £1.79. £1.79, folks. While a large one will set you back up £2.49, folks. £2.49. Although bear in mind prices can vary on where you buy them. Why should they? Surely it's a fucking set price, isn't it? Fans can also get their hands on a, on a free portion of the new fries until October the 13th via fast food. Oh, it's fucking not fucking. Well, it's Friday the 13th, isn't it? Fucking hell. 
here's a question then for you folks. How many of you believe in this Friday the 13th thing? Do you get all worried when you say, oh, Friday the 13th? Do you think like, do you think like a member of your family's not gonna come home on Friday the 13th or something? Are you just scared to lose, leave the house on Friday the 13th? I don't even fucking know. I want a pickup truck. I want a pickup truck, folks. I'd look good in a pickup truck. Right, I'll have a Zinger stacker as well. Shall we do a bonus for review? I've already reviewed this, but I ain't had one of these for ages, to be fair. Because I normally go for, like, a piece of chicken, because I love chicken on the bone. Don't you, girls? Don't you like your meat on the bone? Or your bone on your meat? Or your bone in your meat? Let's tuck into this booter. Mmm. Mmm. KFC in Loughborough is a good one. I quite like it. Somebody said to me the other day, it was shit. Well, I've never had any problem. Oh, it's just fucking nice. There's a nice pickup truck. Yeah. Who saw Keir Starmer getting covered in glitter? Fucking brilliant! It really made me laugh because like... He keeps coming out with all these soundbite bollocks. And then this bloke, some posh twat, come up and just sprinkled glitter all over him and his face was fucking brutal he didn't know what to do he had a complete fucking he had a complete meltdown didn't he and i tell you what it looked fake as fuck because when i'd stop lock laughing and watching it right and i thought right so security allowed some bloke to come in and just get that close to the future leader of the country let's because let's face it he's going to win and allowed him to sprinkle glitter on him and then eventually two women turned up and dragged him away Was that fake or what? And then he took his jacket off as if he'd like... Regained his composure. Rolled his sleeves up as if to say, right, I mean business. And then talk about fighting for the country. He couldn't even fight a bloke throwing glitter at him. Or oh, fucking Gary Glitter. <laughs> Any of you been watching in the reckoning? That's just going to be a farce as well. 
that's just going to be the BBC not saying they knew anything about it. Somebody's found their own. Well, Uber Eats. So yeah, um, yeah, back to the fries then, the actual review. No, let's get back to Keir Starmer again. What's the saying? You can't polish a turd, but you can sprinkle it in glitter, and it's still a fucking turd. Right. The fries are really good. Well done, KFC. The Zinger Stacker Burger thing. What's going on? I'm working here. I'm fucking working. I'm going to fucking. There's one in here. There's the one in. <sighs> Salt and pepper, not none of that. I'll tell you what I'll do. I've got some hand sanitizer. <sighs> Let's see if that works. Wash my hands in hand sanitizer. We've got hand sanitizer in the van because when we've taken the dogs for a walk and sometimes they've had a shit and you have to put the uh, dog shit bags in the bin some of the bins aren't very nice so what we do is we, oh, that's maybe that's fucking worse um, sometimes we do that put the shit in the bin and the you can use that to do that so strength at home folks um, get the chips they're brilliant there you go I spent about uh, the best part of 18 minutes telling you to buy chips how's that to milk out a video laters